and you're watching episode 3 of Polymer Clay TV. Today we're going to talk about powdered pigments. I'm going to show you how to stamp onto the clay and then add the powdered pigments on top as like a highlight. I already have kneaded my clay, so all I need to do is roll it out flat. And I turn, it's rolling in flat, and if I want to turn it over and get it to move the opposite way, keep rolling. Now, I like to use some water as a release, and I just spray a little water right on there, and I can spray a little water right onto my texture plate, and then I just stick it right down on there, give it a little push so it adheres, and then start rolling, or rubbing I should say. <laughs> I'm trying to get the texture into the clay. Just rolling until I do, and I can peel it back, and there's my texture. So let me wipe it off, because you want to get all that water off, because water and polymer clay do not mix together. And I like to use my blade to pick it up off of the tile surface, and this is what it looks like after it's been stamped. So now I want to make sure I get all that water off. I don't want to have any water on there when I put my powder pigment in. So I start by dipping, dipping my finger right into my powder pigment and just rubbing it right onto the clay and it makes a really cool effect. The color I'm using is like a pink kind of gold, but on here it kind of... You can blow off any excess that you have, and uh, you can really make anything you want after you put your powder pigment on to your clay. I could cut it out, maybe a triangle, you know, anything you want. Just, just play with it. And I could even make that into a pendant if I wanted to hang a little pendant. Kira's going to show you some of the other techniques that you can do with the powder pigments as well, as well as some other powder pigments. So I'm going to use a little piece of yellow clay and I'm going to show how I use powdered pigment as a release on my stamps. So I'm going to roll this down a little bit before I put it into my pasta machine, which is how I like to roll my clay flat. conditioning it by going through the pasta machine a couple times. And that'll help create some heat that'll help knead your clay. Alright, so I'm going to use this little piece here and the first thing I'm going to do is get my pigment here and I'm going to use a brush. I prefer to use a brush. Elisa uses her fingers. <laughs> um, this is a soft brush. It's made for watercolor painting. It's actually made out of squirrel hair fibers probably from the tail, they're pretty long. <laughs> so squirrel. some nice little squirrel donated his <laughs> tail fibers to me for my for my brush. So now I've got the pigment onto the clay. You can see there, there the shine on that piece. And now I'm going to put a little bit onto my texture sheet as well. Now what this is going to do, Elisa just showed you uh, the pigment was only on the raised areas of the design. This is going to actually press pigment down into all of the cracks and crevices as well. So I'm going to just flip my piece over there, use my thumb to press it in. See if I can flip that over and make sure I'm getting it all in there. Right. And the powder pigment acts as a release. Right, it's going to make it not stick to the plastic sheet. There go. So there I have a nice textured piece of clay and the pigment is all over. It's in the cracks, it's on the surface and um, you can cut it out and do anything you yeah, want. Yeah, you can cut make it, like it into anything you'd like. <laughs> so there's that one. And here's mine so you can see the difference. Mm -hmm. And I also wanted to show you a couple other things. Um, you, you don't have to use powdered pigment uh, from us. You, there are other kinds that you can purchase or find. You can even make your own. For example, this is a soft pastel and I like to just shave a little bit off. Any, any material that you can find, chalks, pastels, um, anything that's dry can be turned into a powdered pigment. So there's a little bit of um, nice carmine red 
and you can use that right onto the clay. Some people use this as uh, to make miniature food, you know, to like blush the edge of a, a nice looking ham or to blush the edges of flower petals or even if you were going to make a polymer clay doll. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, you cheeks. could put yeah. that on the cheeks or the knuckles to yeah. give it a realistic effect of blushing. So any color of um, chalks or pastels you can turn into your own powdered pigments. And then another product that I found at the craft store is this metal powder. This one is called Sparkle Bronze and it's made of real metals and it's very shiny so it's more like a glitter and this goes on really shiny and sparkly. See how it's catching the light. So those are just a few different types of pigments. Did you want to say something else, Elisa? Yeah, I'd like to try that that on the black clay. And <laughs> okay, see yeah, it so probably see. looks really awesome Give on the shot. black. And I'm just stamping into the clay. Still had a little water left on it. Wipe off your excess. Let's give this a shot. I've never worked with this, so this is new for me. Probably don't need as much as I just grabbed. <laughs> Let's give it a shot. Oh, yeah. That creates a neat look, too. And I bet you that even gets more metal looking after you fire it. This is the one with the powdered pigments. This is the one with her metal powder. And yeah. you can see, you can just try and experiment and you'll get a lot of different techniques. Yeah, I think I've read that some people have even used makeup, like eye makeup. I have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if it's so. powdered like this, I've used the makeup before. It's, that's another way to go. And, you know, you just play with it and have fun. Yeah. So the last thing I want to show you is how to use some of these pigments actually into a piece of translucent clay. This clay has no colorant in it, but I'm going to put some into it to imitate what I think will look like goldstone. I'm going to put some of this metal powder and some of our um, goldy pink color of the other stuff in there and see what happens. So I'm going to really use a lot. I'm going to saturate this clay by putting on as much as it'll take and mixing it in. This is called an inclusion. Whenever you mix something into the clay, um, if you read a book or read an article or hear somebody say inclusion, this is what they mean. Putting something into the clay to change it. It's a neat effect. Yeah, so once you bake this, um, <clears throat> you will see into the translucent. Translucent clay is exactly what it says it is. You know, you can see into the depths of the clay. Put a little bit of this gold in there, see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> you can mix a variety. And you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> yeah, That's I mean, some, once you make one thing, you can probably approximate getting it again. <laughs> you know, But sometimes just coming up with your own formulas and playing around and mixing things in is half the fun. I agree. <laughs> so the clay can really take a lot of pigment. There's there's a lot here. And because it's tacky, it's just picking it right up and it's sticking in there. So now you can see that the clay is starting to turn a color here. And this is what we started with. So now we have a brown clay which has um, small particles of the pinky gold color and larger particles of the real metal powder in there. And if I were to bake this, which I don't want to do right now because I don't want you to wait 30 minutes to see how it looks, but maybe we'll show it to you in our inclusion episode. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then um, you would be able to actually see into the surface and see the swirls of powder inside the clay. So that's another way to use powdered pigment. Right. So like we said before, just try a few things. You never know what you'll find out that you love. So we have the pigments available on our website, and we have a kit for all the things that we demo, so just make sure to check it out at polymerclayproductions.com. And like I said, just play and have fun. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Send me some sorry lines